The first, actually the first trip that we made to Clover together, this was one of her favorite stories uh, from our travels together. So the first time we were there together, I had never been to Southern Virginia, I'd never been on a tobacco farm. And it was springtime, it was warm out, and we were out walking the fields and there were a lot of poisonous snakes and things and we would you know, carry these big snake sticks. And um, you know, so it was the terrain that I was not familiar with. And we spent a lot of time walking in the graveyard where Henrietta is buried. And um, that night I went back to my hotel and I got in bed. And at some point in the middle of the night I woke up and there was this sort of thing, uh, and this feeling on my arm. And I woke up and there was this tick walking up my arm. I, was, I just looked at it. I was like, oh, I've seen pictures of ticks. That must be a tick. And so I took it off. And then I realized that I was feeling them like I, there was not just the one. And I was covered in ticks. I had something like... 29 ticks that had already bitten me in my, on the backs of my legs and, and because we had apparently walked into a tick's nest and I didn't know it and I never I didn't know what to do with a tick <laughs> so I was literally just covered in them and a lot of them were there and hadn't bitten me yet and so I was like screaming and freaking out and running around in this hotel room in the middle of the night <laughs> trying to figure out how to get the ticks off. So I'm like Googling tick and remove. And it's just sort of a ridiculous whole thing, which ended up with me covered in salad dressing because there was a website I found that said you put oil on them and they'll come off, they'll suffocate, but they meant motor oil. And I had salad dressing and I put salad dressing on me and it had poppy seeds in it. And so then I was like, what's the ticks and what's the poppy seeds? And it was just a mess. Finally, I went to the hotel desk and was like, yeah, ticks. And he just thought it was hysterical and gave me a pair of tweezers and was like, here's how you do it. Go upstairs. Good luck. And so the next morning I was covered in these welts. I hadn't slept and bags under my eyes. Cause you know, when you pull a tick out, like you get these itchy welts and I showed up, Deborah was staying at her cousin's house and I showed up and <laughs> told them the story. And there was actually a tick on my arm while I was telling the story. I was just, it was, I, there are so many ticks in this place. It was really inconsistent. I'd never see, heard of anything like it. And they, it was like something about that, that was some kind of a hazing that suddenly I was in with the family in a way I had never been before. And they just thought it was the most hysterical thing. They would tell that story over and over for years and years and years. And it was like, there was something about it that they were like, okay, you're fine because you came back. <laughs> like you spent all night pulling dozens of ticks out of your body and you're standing here in the same field that you got it in. So you're crazy or you're, you're something, but you know, we kind of, like there was something about that that they like, but so that I don't know where that story fit. That didn't fit in the book, obviously, but it was a big story for Deborah and I. This was one we would you know, tell over and over again. <laughs>